In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of different inbox types inside of Gmail so that you can process your email a little bit more efficiently. So let's take a look and see what those look like. Right now, we are looking at the default view inside of Gmail, which has these tabs along the top here for you to help sort and organize your email. So that's one way you could deal with email. And you can drag and drop emails in between those tabs, enable the tabs that you want to see and don't want to see. But we're not gonna to take too much time to look at this one today because what I want to look at today is priority inbox and multiple inboxes. So you can see your different inbox options by coming up to the settings gear at the top of the page here, clicking on that, and then scrolling down. And here you can see different types of email inboxes that you can have for your email. So the first one I'm going to take a look at here is going to be the priority inbox, which I can turn on here. But the best thing to do here is to come over and click customize so that you can make this priority inbox exactly the way you want it to be. So I'm going to click customize, takes it over here. And as you can see right now, it is sorting my email into different sections. So at the top is going to be all my unread email. Then there's going to be all my starred email. Then there is an empty section and then there is everything else. So that'll be all my read email. So what I'm going to do here is just change this up a little bit so that it works for me and the system that I am using right now. So in a previous video, we created two labels, action and waiting for. Those are the ones I want to put here in my priority inbox. So I'm going to come over here to this second one that says starred and I am just going to remove that section. Now you can see it says empty. Okay, so I'm going to add a section here so that it has the section that I want next. So underneath unread emails, I am going to have my action labeled emails. So if I come down here and I click more options, you can see I can choose a label to put into this section. So everything that has been labeled in my inbox with action is going to go into a section by itself. Underneath that one, I'm going to have another label, and this one is going to be my waiting for label. So under more options, I can choose waiting for. And then for, I'll just leave this by itself. This is everything else that has not yet been processed. So I've got my unread emails at the top, action, waiting for, and then everything else. So what does that look like? Well, we're going to take a look here. But the first thing we need to do is scroll to the bottom of the page and click save changes. So as you can see, I am now looking at my priority inbox here. At the top of my email, I've got two unread emails. These two from Adobe are unread. And I know that those are ones that I need to get into and, and process through in my system here. Underneath that, I've got all the emails I need to take action on. And then all the emails I'm waiting for other people. Underneath that, I have everything else. So I have a lot of emails here to process. And uh, those have not been labeled. Those are not in my system. They've not been archived or deleted or anything else. Those are just the ones that still need some work. So that would be one way to organize uh, your inbox here. Unread, action, waiting for, and then everything else. A twist on that, a variation upon that would be the multiple inboxes. So let's go back up to the settings here, come down and then choose multiple inboxes. And so at this point, we're going to customize it again so that it's looking the way that we want it to look. All right, and so for this one here, we all we need to do is customize this so that we have the correct labels applied in our multiple inboxes. So I'm going to have a section here on the side, and this is going to be a label. So you put label colon and then the name of the label you want to have in there. Section two is also going to be a label and we'll call this one waiting for. 
Then you can see we've got the option here for the inbox position. So would you like it above the inbox, below the inbox, or to the right of your inbox? So when new emails arrive, where do you want these extra inbox sections to be? I'm going to say that they should go over here on the right of the inbox, but you can choose whatever works for you. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. So as you can see, we now have kind of a split screen scenario going on here where I have my inbox on the left and all of the emails that have been labeled action or waiting for over here on the right. Now you'll see there on the left that there are emails labeled that also appear on the right. That's because they are also in the inbox. If you set up your email this way, then you need to be uh, a drag and dropper to move your emails out of the inbox and into the right label that you would like to associate these with. And once you get all these dragged and drop into the right place, then they come out of your inbox and will only appear over here on the right hand side. So if you're a drag and dropper and you like to drag emails into labels on this side here, this could be a great way for you just to categorize and sort your email as you get it. You don't have to open it and find the label or right click on it. You just have to drag it over to the side and um, take care of it. So on the left here, the inbox, this is all the email that I need to process. This is the email that is not sorted, it's not deleted, it's not archived, it's something I need to look at. And then over here on the right, this is my selection of emails that I need to take care of. So is one any better than the other? Not necessarily. This is a personal preference type of thing here. The only thing that I sometimes would notice in the multiple inbox view, especially if you have your inboxes over here on the right, is that if you use the sidebar here to have your calendar up at the same time, it does get a little bit text heavy, a little bit cluttered. You can come over here and hide this here too, but uh, three columns, four columns, depending on how you look at it, some people don't like that look. It just depends maybe if you use that sidebar view at all. When you have this on the priority inbox and then you have the sidebar open here on the calendar, it takes it down to three columns, which is a little bit more manageable, looks a little bit more visually simplistic for some people, which could uh, help focus yourself more on the emails that you're working with. So personal preference between priority inboxes and multiple inboxes and where you put those multiple inboxes, but both serve a very similar function and just a matter of choosing which one works best for you.